Greetings, I'm Size, and today I wanted to show you a gameplay of every single handgun maxed out in Resident Evil 4 Remake, including their exclusives. We're gonna start off with the Sentinel-9. The exclusive for the Sentinel-9 increases the critical hit rate by 5 times. So what that means is that it increases the chances of landing shots that have increased extra damage, so by 5 times. So, the damage is not 5 times, the hit rate is 5 times. So you have 5 times more chances of hitting a critical hit. So a critical hit is just an increased extra bonus, extra damage shot. So we're also going to be powering up the SG-09R, which is pretty much the same thing as the Sentinel-9. So the SG-09 has a 2.0 damage firepower, 18 ammo capacity, 1.40 reload speed, and 152 rate of fire. The Sentinel-9 has a maximum power of 190, ammo capacity 31, reload speed 130, rate of fire 2.0, and the exclusive of course is increased hit rate by 5 times. You can purchase the laser sight with spinels at the merchant and combine it with either of these weapons. So let us see them in action. So overall I like the critical damage that this pistol deals, I like being able to one shot things randomly, I think it's pretty cool, it's definitely something I recommend you trying, but definitely not for a pistol only run, there is better options for this I think, um, I don't think this pistol is good for a handgun only run, but it's definitely fun to use. The Sentinel-9 pretty much feels the same exact way, um, the only benefit that it has is that it has more bullets in the clip, so I think they're similar, but the Sentinel-9 is slightly better. So now let's check out the Punisher, which can only be obtained by trading it in for some spinels, which already makes it a terrible choice. But here it is. So for five spinels, you can purchase it at the merchant, and uh, this is what it looks like when you max it out. You can also combine the laser sight with it. The Punisher goes up to 190 power, 24 ammo capacity. 150 reload speed and the rate of fire goes up to 191. So the exclusive for the Punisher is that bullets will go through five, up to five enemies now. So yeah, that's not that great, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. Um, 
Um, so yeah, this gun is pretty terrible. It deals no damage whatsoever. Um, in my opinion, I didn't find it to be anything exciting. In fact, the basic handgun or the Sentinel-9 is way better than this gun because it has critical hit rate. So it literally has the ability to one shot, whereas the Punisher doesn't. So um, anyway, let me know what you think. But uh, let's keep let's continue. Let's see the penetration perk here in action. So next up we have the Matilda, which can be purchased at the merchant for 10 spinels and you can acquire the Matilda stock for 12 spinels. So that already is a 22 spinels investment for a mediocre weapon in my opinion. So the Matilda, the Matilda's firepower goes up to 2, the ammo capacity goes up to 30, the reload speed goes all the way up to 140, the rate of fire goes up to 163 and the exclusive increases the ammo capacity by 30 so it doubles the amount of weapon ammo that you can use so it goes up to 60 ammo capacity so i will first try it without the stock and then after uh, a few kills i will put the stock on to show you what it looks like when it has a three round burst compared to the single burst So next up we have the second to last pistol, the Red 9. The Red 9 costs 14,000 or you can acquire it for free in the lake in chapter 4. So keep that in mind. We can also purchase the attachable stock with 9 spinels, which is essential for this weapon to be at its full potential when it comes to recoil. So the power goes up to 270, the ammo capacity goes up to 16, reload speed goes up to 125 and the rate of fire goes up to 126. The exclusive increases the firepower by 1.5 times, which makes the Red 9 deal a whopping 4.5 damage. So yeah, it is the highest in its class. So let's check it out and see how it compares to the others.
the way. So last but not least we have the black tail, which is widely considered to be the most versatile and the most reliable weapon in the entire game. So power goes up to 240, ammo capacity goes up to 13, reload speed goes up to 160, and the rate of fire goes up to 220. The exclusive increases the power by 1.5 times, bringing the weapon's da overall damage to 3.6 damage, which is slightly lower than the Red 9. So overall, I think the Blacktail is the best pistol in terms of being good at pretty much everything. It's ha it has great accuracy, it has one of the best damage in its class, it has wonderful fire rate, it has just very fair ammo capacity, and the reload speed is just amazing. I think the Red 9 overall is the best pistol for that reason. Of course, it's not the best in damage, but I think... In terms of just being an overall good weapon, I think the Blacktail beats everything. I still personally prefer the Red 9 because I like being able to deal a ton of damage in one hit. So, in in reality, all weapons are good. Uh, there isn't a specific best handgun, but I think in terms of uh, gameplay, I think the Blacktail overall is the best option when it comes to being good for all kinds of playstyle. But every weapon, every handgun can be used properly and be used effectively. Overall, I think I would go with Blacktail, Red 9, Matilda, Sentinel 9, SGO 9, and Punisher. That's my own personal opinion. I know you may disagree, but it's yeah, it's all down to preference. Some people like the Punisher for the penetration. I honestly don't think it matters. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. What pistol did you choose in your first playthrough? Which pistol did you main? Uh, which handgun did you use on your first playthrough? I chose the Red 9, but I did use the Sentinel 9 until I was able to get the Red 9. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a like on this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.